significant increase in emotional well-being. Get along better with others. Thriving relationships that are more connected, balanced, more loving. Stronger psychological immune system. Less depression, more resilient to future depression. Lower blood pressure, more effective at reaching your goals. I could carry on, ladies and gentlemen, but wow, doesn't that all sound amazing? Don't we all want these scientifically proven benefits? The quality of being thankful, readiness to show appreciation for, and to return kindness. The secret to life, it's gratitude. Like the Dalai Lama said, in order for us to carry a positive action, we must first develop here a positive vision. And that wise old Roman Marcus Aurelius, it takes very little to lead a happy life. It's all within yourself, in your way of thinking. Let not your mind focus as much on what you lack as on what you have. Already. We all lead busy lives, work, relationships. We're also busy being busy, and life travels at such a pace that it's easy for us to get caught up in bad habits, especially habits of bad thought. Negativity appears to be our default position. We all know people who wake up in the morning and say, different day, same shit. <laughs> You drive to work, somebody cuts you off, and you feel negative feelings and have negative thoughts. You get to work, and somebody says, I hate it here, I'm so tired. All this negativity, it's exhausting. And it takes away from us. We now know that thoughts have power. Scientists can measure the, the power of thought, not only by sticking electrodes to your head, but they can measure it externally. Gratitude gives us the inner joy that's resilient to external factors. It helps us to shape our beliefs and thoughts, giving us the power to lead a more joyful and rewarding life. Today I'd like to share with you the four steps to gratitude. Now, firstly, we need to see our world through grateful eyes. Anticipate the good, look for the good in your life, appreciate the big and the small things. We also need to look for the good and the bad. You know, life's a wonderful teacher. Life's not perfect. Sometimes we're in a situation and we don't understand why. But further down the road, when we look back, we can see how the dots connect and how we have to go through that situation in order for something beautiful to flourish. We need to live with the faith that the dots will connect with the knowledge that they have in the past. Secondly, we need to feel grateful, experience it, relish it, feel the love. Feeling grateful amplifies the power of gratitude. If seeing is believing, then feeling must be the truth. We then need to share it, be generous, catch your partner doing something good and thank them. Reach out to your colleagues, your boss, let the people in your life know that you appreciate them. Lastly, and most importantly, we need to practice gratitude. Make it a habit, part of your daily routine, like brushing your teeth. There are many ways to practice gratitude. You could have a gratitude journal. At the end of every day, you could write down things you're grateful for from your day. Go out, explore, and find a way that works for you. My alarm in the morning is named gratitude. So when I wake, reach for my mobile, it's the first thing I see and I start to give thanks. Thank you for my wonderful loving partner. Thank you for my amazing sons, my warm home. The new day ahead filled with opportunity for growth and success. I drive to gym in the morning and I say out loud the things that I love. Sunrises, nature, friends, family. By the time I get to work, I'm full of positivity and joy. What kind of a day do you think I am? I did mention to my son that my uh, alarm's named Gratitude. And he told me his is named Wake Up Fatty. <laughs> <laughs>
You are God's greatest creature. Talented, loving, creative, abundant in every way. You have such potential. Enjoy the secret to life. And thank you.